Are you interested in buying a brand new vehicle and not getting ripped off during this insane supply chain shortage? Well, I'm gonna share with you how I was able to purchase this brand new Toyota Tacoma at MSRP, get top dollar for my old car, and get almost exactly the vehicle that I wanted. You can do this, but it's gonna take some time and work. Let's jump in. Just going for it. Hey everybody, welcome to Jason Explains Things. I'm Jason and I make how-to videos on a variety of topics that you might be interested in. So sass that YouTube algorithm today by subscribing and turning on notifications so maybe you see some of my videos and my channel doesn't die in darkness. So, <laughs> uh, this video is gonna cover a lot of specifics about buying a Tacoma, but the same principles can be used to find any hard to find vehicle. Step number one, and very important, is research and find the exact vehicle that you want. You're gonna have to wait, most likely, so you want to make sure you're ordering the thing that you want. So, in my case, I spent months researching and test driving different mid-sized trucks before I put a deposit down on this beauty that you see behind me. I drove a variety of mid-sized trucks from different trims of the Tacoma to the awesome Chevy Colorado ZR2, and I landed on a Tacoma TRD off-road. First off, it had all of the off-road features I wanted. It can tow a mid-sized trailer just fine. And honestly, because I've had such an awesome experience with my family's Toyota 4Runner, and because of the legendary reliability that these are known for, this decision wasn't very hard. Step number two is find a good or at least decent dealership and salesman to work with. Now, I think the market adjustment stuff that's going on right now is completely mind boggling and stupid and greedy and short sighted because we have some badges of shame that I want to read out. So first we have Toyota of Renton, Washington. Now these jack wagons label their greed simply as market adjustments. They just tack on 2,000 or 5,000 or more than that onto the top of MSRP, simply saying, hey, we want more money. So, I mean, at least that's sort of honest. But Toyota of Tacoma, doing the namesake of my truck wrong here. Holy crap, this is kind of hilarious. Uh, they're labeling things, they're, 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 you're getting something for your money. For instance, on a brand new uh, Tundra SR5, they have the Larson Appearance Package, and that is simply some paint protection film and a ceramic coating for 15 grand. <laughs> Sidebar, I was actually able to ceramic coat my truck myself in my shop in about three to five hours, and I used a kit from Chemical Guys. Um, I think it was around $300 uh, off of Amazon, and I will link it down below. The uh, I don't know if it's $15,000 awesome, but I am, it's pretty awesome, and when it rains, uh, water beads right off the truck. So yeah, I didn't do business with either of those terrible dealerships, and calling around, I was able to find several dealerships offering trucks cars at MSRP. That includes Toyota dealerships in Yakima, Washington, in Tri-Cities, Washington, and Spokane, Washington. Step number three, reserve or order your vehicle. Unless you're insanely lucky, your dealer is not gonna have any vehicles actually in stock, so you're going to have to put an order in for one. Try to give as many options to the salesman as possible. Options in color, options in trim level, and packages because maybe that might make certain things easier. In my case specifically, I wanted a Tacoma TRD off-road. I wanted no sunroof. Because manufacturers are making more loaded vehicles than the more base ones, like this one with no sunroof or and cloth seats instead of leather seats, um, I probably would have gotten my truck another three or four months faster than I ended up because I insisted on no sunroof. But frankly, I have a weird body shape where I have a long torso and shorter legs. So if I would have gotten a sunroof, I'd be hitting my head all the time, which would be very, very annoying. I also said, I want a green truck. And I, and again, I kind of held to that. I want a green truck. So I said, Lunar Rock is okay. Army Green is okay. I ended up with the cooler of the two, in my opinion. And I'm very happy about that. And the other thing that made this whole process take a long time for me is I really, really wanted a manual transmission. And uh, Toyota said, no. We don't make them for you, Jason. <laughs> they said no for months. As your allocation comes up, they go, they can pick, they can say yes or no, and they always said no to my build with a manual. So I said, fine, uh, now I have an automatic, and I'm okay with that because there are specific off-road features that the automatic has that the manual does not. When making your order or reservation, 
dealerships are gonna want you to put down a cash deposit. In my instance, I ended up putting two orders and deposits down at two di different dealerships. Uh, one wanted $1,000, the other wanted $3,000. Again, this is completely refundable, so if you go with one over the other or you completely change your mind and just wanna cancel everything, you'll get your money right back. Sidebar, this truck is not going to be a pavement princess. Uh, in its first couple months with me, it already has pinstripes. I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> but I do plan on staying on top of all maintenance, and this includes using only high quality gasoline like Chevron and using Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner at every oil change. Now this truck only has 1,500 miles on it, so it hasn't gotten it yet, but it will when the time comes. Thank you Chevron and Tecron for supporting my channel. For this next step, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down because it's gonna take a while because it's about things taking a while. Step number four is wait a long, long time. <laughs> In total, I waited seven months to get my truck. There are a couple things that affected that. First off, if I, again, would have been okay with a completely loaded truck with leather and a sunroof, I probably could have gotten my truck maybe three to four months faster. But again, then the truck would have been $4,000 more. I would have had a bunch of stuff that I do not want or need, and I wouldn't have been as comfortable in the truck. I think it's good to compromise on stuff that you don't really care about that much, but if you do care about something, don't compromise on it. It's better to wait. Step number five, do not, I repeat, do not give your current vehicle away. The probably the best thing about it taking forever to buy a new vehicle is you have time to get top dollar for your old vehicle. In my case, I had a 2016 Volkswagen GTI in great shape. The vehicle shortage also increased the value of my GTI dramatically during this process. So option number one is to sell to an online dealer. You know, you got your Vroom, you got your Carvana. They actually didn't work out because I was holding off until I got a build date at different times. Uh, especially, especially Vroom offered me some really high numbers all the way up to $21,000 at one point. I paid $25,000 for my GTI in 2016 when it was brand new. So 21,000 is just insane. Um, but by the time it came to sell my vehicle, the offer from them lowered all the way down to 17,000. Option number two is to sell your vehicle privately. Now this can be potentially the most uh, money that you can get and also potentially just the most headache and useless waste of your time. I took a bunch of really great pictures of my vehicle and I posted it on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Now that did not lead to a sale to another individual, but it actually did lead to where I eventually sold my vehicle, which is sell to a local dealership. But of course, the easiest thing you could do is just trade your vehicle to the dealership that you are going to buy the new vehicle from. That was not an option in my case. They had the most lowball offer for my GTI of any dealership that I dealt with. And I went to a couple different ones. I went to, I went to, ended up going to three. Like, I think it was around like $16,000. I ended up selling to another dealership that was kind of like a higher end used car dealership in Tri-Cities, Washington. Um, shout out to Archibalds, because they're really nice people. Um, they ended up giving me $18,600, so a full $2,600 more than the Toyota dealership. If, if a salesman or a person or a manager comes and goes, oh, that's all your car's worth, they might be lying to you. The process of selling my GTI to that dealer in Tri-Cities went very smoothly, but I gotta say it was a little sad, and the day that I did it, I kinda took the day off of work to go take the GTI off for a Canyon cruise one last time. And finally, delivery day was almost in sight. My wife started to tease me as my delivery window approached that I was essentially like a pregnant lady waiting to go into labor. But finally, the day came and the truck carrying my truck arrived. Today's new truck day. Jumping away from criticizing my dealership back to complimenting them, they were actually awesome on the day of delivery. Signing papers went incredibly smoothly. There was no hard sale like you usually would have about like extended warranties that you didn't need or other services that you didn't want. So I was in and out of there incredibly quickly, which was greatly appreciated. And just like the forerunner that we got back in 2021, we took this guy up a local trail the night we got it. So the final deal, I paid 42,700 and some change. I had a down payment of $20,000 in cash. My payments for this are actually pretty darn reasonable. 
So now that I have this awesome Tacoma, I can now go out and explore and start doing modifications. By the way, guys, I do plan on doing videos about those modifications, and I would love your input on how you'd like them. I'm kind of thinking because Tacomas have been out for so long and there's so many install videos about all these things, I kind of want to group them together. You know, maybe do like fog lights with something else, with something else that kind of just things that kind of go well together. You know, please leave a comment, let me know what you'd like and how you'd like it presented to you, and I will take that into advisement. Um, and guys, last thing about buying a vehicle. Uh, good luck. <laughs> um, don't fall for all of the pressure and everything, and don't overpay. You know, I, I honestly feel bad, especially for the, all those guys right now that are out buying Ford Broncos. You know, I've seen some that are listed in, oh, in six figures. I mean, those guys are gonna be so upside down, it's not even funny. So it is better to frankly either wait a long time like I did and get what you want at a, at a reasonable price, or frankly, just don't buy anything at all because if, if, if you can't find it and it's just impossible, then you just gotta be patient and wait, which is not fun, trust me, I know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you have any specific questions about my buying process or this truck, please let me know in the comments below. So until next time, everyone, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Give it the beans. Give it the beans. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, now I don't want to be out when that happens. I feel like I'm going to get really muddy.